Wilson has to start with Zach Wilson. And I'll go first because I've been the one sitting up here yeah. screaming and yelling, and I don't take any of it back. I was talking about what I was seeing at the time. But fair is fair. The kid was terrific last night. He gave them a chance to win. The mistake is the mistake. He played the best game of his life with his career on the line. He gave his team a chance, and he gives them hope going forward. So, Zach Wilson, I can do nothing but praise the performance, the effort, the guts. I think Rodgers being there definitely seemed to help him. He showed you last night why they have not given up on him. So, all I can say is I thought he yeah. was sensational last night. Yeah, and Greeny, I sat back and I barked back at you and said you were wrong. You did? And why? Because this kid has NFL talent. You can't tell me. Nobody can say that this kid doesn't have that NFL arm talent. Nobody can say he doesn't have NFL mobility. We haven't seen NFL production mm. until this point. This was the first time I thought the coaching staff centered the plan around this young man's talents. Okay? He's a guy that struggles reading in the pocket. So what do I do? I go with heavier protection when I had him drop back, allow him to stay a little deeper in the pocket to give him more time uh, to read. Daniel, you talked about earlier about one-man reads. Concepts, yep. One-man, two-man reads in a concept. Why is that important? Because he does have that kind of skill set to put the ball wherever he wants. Okay? However, when, you, when it gets uh, cluttered and you have him read a field, he's not there yet. Okay? This is why I've said be patient. And the further this season goes on, the better this kid's going to get. And I'm telling you, 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 you have to be patient with a guy with NFL skill set like this. He's second overall pick for a reason. That's why I say don't pick up some of these junk guys that are out there that aren't going to make your team better in the long run. Invest in what you have right here. And that's why, to me, I'm sitting back going, Dang, I told you so. If they can get that Zach Wilson for the rest of the season, even at one and three, their season's not dead. For sure. And even in December, they will be playing for essentially playoff spots. You got to see the ball placement, the arm, the ability to place the football. This back shoulder touchdown to Uzama where it's a one-man route. Throw it as good as you can. Look at this throw with his feet not ready to Garrett Wilson pinned on the sideline. That's spectacular. Look at this throw down the seam to Conklin with a carrying linebacker. Throw it only on his back shoulder again versus man coverage. This ball to Rucker in the slot is fantastic. So, you know, the question was, is Zach Wilson an NFL quarterback? Last night, he played like he belonged. Last night, he played with confidence and conviction. Most importantly, he played with freedom. He played with freedom of mistakes. And I think if they can bottle that up and show him that film and say, you got it inside of you. And they were more creative. They moved him outside the pocket a little bit. They went way more play action to kind of guarantee some protection. It's not that difficult to build Thank a plan you. around a talented young player. If they could bottle that up, I still believe they can climb out of that hole. Well, I think the, the big thing is we have to look at a lot of people whose job seemed to be on the line last night. It starts with the head coach, Robert Sala, and him going out and saying, I'm going to continue to stick with Zach Wilson, but I'm going to talk to Nathaniel Hackett. Nathaniel Hackett and Zach Wilson are going to continue to build trust, and we are going to build a plan around his skill set. We also have to look at the number of attempts that Garrett Wilson got, right? We throw it to somebody who can win in one-on-one -on -one situations, who can make tough catches, and then look at the defense. Look at what happened to this defense mm -hmm. once Zach Wilson started to yeah. play well, once they started to feel like they had a chance. You can see the energy rising. You can see Sauce Gardner, C.J. Mosley, and uh, the, Quinn, the Williams brothers. They all started to get to a point where we're like, okay, if we continue to play well, we now have a quarterback that can allow us to win. So how do you build up on that? Yeah. Last night can't just be the only night. Oh, the Going oh. forward this week, they have to continue to grow. What I loved about Zach Wilson, and you even saw it going into the weekend, he's maturing as a, as a person. He's maturing as a man. He's starting to take the leadership role seriously. And maybe that's the one thing you can get from an Aaron Rodgers that says, okay, I can learn how to compete. But last night against Patrick Mahomes, against the defending reigning Super Bowl champions, Zach Wilson was the best quarterback on the field. And I'm going to be honest, Greeny, I don't normally start re-watching games until after the Sunday night game. Yeah, I had the right. Sunday night game on TV and my iPad out studying for it today. And about halfway through, I had to close it. Mm. I had to close it and pay attention because of what Zach Wilson was doing. And on Friday, you never could have told Th me that. Think about his post-game press conference when he was like, oh. everyone's battling this and that. I lost that game. You know, everything that that 
young man has been through. To stand there and say that, and honestly, it feels like he believes it, speaks to the volumes that you're talking about, RC, how much his growth he's, he's gone into. I think this, number one, last week, we, got, we all kind of said, like, you got to stop handcuffing him. You got to stop taking the baby, you know, treating him like a baby. They were way more aggressive on first down. They got Garrett Wilson way more involved. They even took a shot on first down on the go route. I think the play that stands out to me the most last night was that two-point conversion call. Absolutely. You know, when, when they get into that two-point situation and they call that quarterback draw, that would not have happened last week, the week before, last year for sure, because you're putting it in his hands. Mm -hmm. How many teams do we see? I mean, Buffalo and Patrick Mahomes and Joe. Those are the only teams that you watch in that got-to-have-it moment. They say, we trust you to make that play. The, and that, that's a big deal. The, the other thing is this. You know, you talk about the way that he took accountability after the game. Yeah. You can do that when you play really well. Sure. Right? When you play really well and there's not a ton of things to point to, and you know there's this one thing I could have done better, you step up there and stay, say that. Now what happens when he walks into the building today? When he walks into the building today, everybody in that building, which is true, is going to tell him, you didn't lose this game. A little game. more belief as They're well. They're going to say, we lost this game. There were things that I could have done if I'm Sauce Gardner, things that I could have done if I'm Garrett Wilson, if I'm Brees Hall. Because when you step up there and you take it and you put it all on yourself, after you've been through what this kid has been through, yeah. on Friday I said, I feel sorry for him. Like, we need to leave him alone. Let him be. He went out there and he played like a dude with nothing to lose. It was like, what the hell? If I throw interceptions, if I make mistakes, what does it matter? But what if I don't? Right. What if I don't make mistakes? Mm. What if I show people why I was drafted? second overall and for for Zach Wilson there has to be a sense of pride but it also has to be a sense of okay I gotta line back up and do that again this week no yeah my thing was that's what was missing in this kid it wasn't the the arm you know or the talent to play in the, the league he's always had that and so now moving forward it's this is who we have it's gonna look the same Albeit against lesser opponents. Right, and this and week, watch what the hell the happens. Denver defense that has been historically yes. bad this year. And obviously there's a lot of bad blood in this game. Not to use a Taylor Swift pun, which everyone is doing to the point this, uh, this, this season so far that's becoming, uh, frankly, annoying. Uh, but, but, but there's obviously all of that history there with all of that. Now, so all of that said, again, Zach Wilson... With everything on the line, played the game of his life. There are no moral victories in pro sports, and right. yet somehow, sometimes there are. And that on some level was one, I thought, for him yes. and for the Jets. Uh, that yeah. said, if you were to have just landed on a spaceship from another planet last night and had never seen a football game before, and all you watched was that one, you would think the quarterback in green was much better than the quarterback in red. He ain't. Well, of course not. crazy. So my point is, <laughs> what happened? Like, no, but what I'm asking is what yeah. happened. Like, th that, that was 17 The Jets' nothing. defense is awesome. But, 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 but I mean, Danny, it's 17 nothing, and the route yeah, is the, on, and then it just went completely the other way. The, <laughs> the Jets' defense is really good, but Patrick Mahomes played extremely out of character. This throw, you know, the, that's not about with, great yeah, defense. When, when you look at the when you look at the two interceptions, it almost seems that Patrick Mahomes is aiming the football. We never see Patrick Mahomes aim the football. But when you do get up 17 nothing, when you are looking across at the other sideline and it's Zach Wilson, you do start to feel, okay, now I can feel things out. I can do whatever I need to do to make plays and. Patrick Mahomes allowed not only the Jets' defense to start to feel good, sure. but the Jets as a whole. We've seen this a lot of times. Think about prize fighting, right? When you go into a fight and one of the guys is, is an extreme underdog and it seems like he's getting whipped and he's getting out po pointed, and then all of a sudden the underdog lands a haymaker and the guy stumble and he goes, oh, you, 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 you aren't that. Oh, you, we, we, we aren't. I'm not totally out of it. I can find a way. And that's what happened with the Kansas City Chiefs. And I can't speak to the psyche of a team. But in the end, whether you're Travis Kelsey, whether you're Patrick Mahomes, we are all just ball players. That's and we it. are very simple humans. Like we really are. We want to go play ball and we want to live our lives. When everything is centered around now the superstardom of our tight end that was already a superstar. Right, and there's all this fanfare, and there's talking about this, and we got a we got a Taylor Swift updates. Eventually, like it all gets to everybody. We're up 17 now. We can look up at the suite. We can look up at the scoreboard. Everybody, like it starts to weigh on you, and I think they have to get back to focusing on football. They had six 
very easy quarters against Justin Fields and Zach Wilson. Mm. Now they got to tap, tap back in, but they're tapping in as winners. Yeah, I think it's a great point. Also, if you're Kansas City, you're not worried about Patrick Mahomes no, at no. all. You know what I'm saying? What I meant to I, say. The Jets' defense is elite. He tried to make some very um, challenging throws, and he got burnt by it. I've said this for a couple weeks now. If I'm the Chiefs, the only thing that I'm kind of concerned about or paying attention to is both those tackles are still not playing Super Bowl caliber level offensive tackles. And that showed again last night with penalties yeah. and getting beat. The safety turned the entire game around and, and, and on, the, on the face mask penalty yeah, the hold, yeah. in their own end zone. And as we go, we'll talk about that. Whether the Taylor Swift effect, and this is not blaming her, no. but all of this stuff that, I mean, Kelsey, a bad drop, Mahomes, two terrible interceptions, and the Jets fight their way back.